Hi, Internet Interwebs! My name is Will, and today we are going to be talking about the second audition that I did. Now, I made a promise to myself on <laughs> that this year I'm gonna, like, if I, I said, if I make it into this choir, I'm gonna try. I'm really gonna try. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna study. Whenever they give me music, I'm gonna make sure I memorize it. I'm gonna make sure I'm prepared. I'm gonna make sure I'm over prepared. I'm gonna make sure that I'm there. I'm in there and I wanna be there. I wanna be in the zone. I wanna say, I'm not gonna let this nervousness get to me. I'm not gonna be like the person that I was in my old choir where I let so much opportunity slip by because I was scared of everything. I said, I don't care if I'm scared of everything anymore. I don't care, I'm trying. I'm going to try and I will do this. And even if I don't get an audition, like even if I don't get the audition, if I don't make it, if they don't choose me, the point is I tried. And that's what I wanna say to myself is that I tried because it is better to have tried and to have failed than to have not have tried at all and wondered what if. I don't want to live like that anymore. I've been living my life like that for so long and this time, this has to change. So I do my second audition. <laughs> Anyways, the second audition actually was the week after my first rehearsal. I was scared. I was scared. They said it was, so it's love songs. Love songs, guys. Love songs. And I'm like, what? So I'm a depressing person. I like depressing songs. Songs with depressing messages because that connects with me. Love songs really don't get me. I mean, I under, like, there's times where I do get in the groove and I feel it and stuff like that, but they wanted one specifically from a movie. I was like, oh. I was not a happy camper. I was not a happy camper that day. Not because of the, the theme, it's just because I'm like, what do I sing? So I was like, oh, I'm gonna do Call Me Irresponsible. Michael Buble. But it's actually from a movie called Papa's Delicate Condition, which I'd never seen before, so I don't know. So when I go and I do Call Me Irresponsible, nobody knows what the song is. Like, nobody knew. Like, I'm like, Wait a minute, this is like supposedly like a very popular song, Frank Sinatra song. How does nobody know this song? Anyways, apparently nobody knew it. I was like, wow, this sucks. <laughs> so when I was practicing, I was practicing like the whole week. I went crazy and I over practiced. I didn't even practice the choral pieces because I was so focused on this. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. I was going to do Unchained Melody. I was going to do call me responsible i was thinking of like be my love mario lanz i was thinking of all these scenarios all these movies and i'm like oh god i was researching songs i'm like oh god what what sound good in my voice i don't know then i was thinking damn i don't have the sheet music because i had to bring sheet music i had to they said that it's good not they said you have to bring the company music i'm like oh my god i cried I cried. I'm like, oh my God, because I didn't have a piano. I don't play the piano, so I don't know what key my song was in. And I did, and I looked, and I'm like, okay, I'm in the key of E flat. I'm like, is that my key? So I played on the piano, but I was playing in an octave higher. So I was practicing an octave higher, and I was listening to the Michael Bublé version, which is recorded a half step higher from the actual song, which is, it's a baritone song, and I'm a tenor one, so I'm like, God. Some days I could hit those low notes. Some days... I, I, I hit Mariah Carey notes, you know, it really depends. So at this point, this was definitely a risk, a risky song. Well, because I've been practicing so much, you know, now my voice couldn't hit the low notes no more. So I got really nervous. So when I started, oh God, I walked into that, that, that room, just walked in nervous i was like 13 <laughs> and, and i couldn't talk to anybody i couldn't talk to anybody and it was a perfect opportunity to talk to everybody and just ask some questions like oh are you nervous or you know what song are you doing and being the freaking idiot that i was you know i'm trying to get better at it i swear i am i'm trying to be more social i really want to and i don't want to come across as rude or like i'm a snub or or like stuck up or whatever because i'm not i mean i'm really really cool once you get to know me and i get to know you and stuff but 
it's just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just didn't have the confidence to talk to anybody. And people were being nice to me and they talked to me, but I couldn't keep the conversation up, you know? Because I was so nervous. I was so in my head. I just, I, I didn't want to be an asshole. And I felt like I was an asshole and I wasn't. But like, I don't know. It was just me overthinking. I was number 13. I'm like, God, bad luck number. <sighs> so I go and I walk in and I am shaking like this is even more scarier because there was not that many people in the hallway when I first auditioned and even though there was less judges in the room I wasn't I wasn't scared of the fact of the song that I was singing I was scared because I didn't know the I didn't know the piano player I gave him the accompaniment like earlier that like the day the day of he told me to send it I chose call me responsible I had the sheet music for it I sent it to him and then at this point, I'm like, oh, God, I'm stuck with that song. Then he gets to me on Friday and tells me that he didn't get it or that he did get it, but he, I have to send it to him in a one format because he wanted to use his iPad. I was like, what? Oh, so I freak out. I'm trying to figure this out. He said, no, just bring the music, bring the music, bring the music. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I'm like crying hysterically because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm going to do. So at this point, I'm just like, okay, maybe it's a key I can handle. Maybe it's really low. Maybe it was really low. But I practiced it the way I did. I'm like, God, I wish I could just do it a cappella. So um, anyways, so I put, I gave him the music. I tell him the tempo that I sing it in. And I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So he said, oh, what tempo would you like it in? I'm like, uh, call me irresponsible call me unreliable throw in undependable too so that's what i did i went and i said call me irresponsible call me un but the song was so low so i'm like call me irresponsible like he had to play it again i'm like can i try one more time please and then they started Call me irresponsible, call me unreliable, throw in undependable too. I don't know what I sounded like. It felt like I sounded bad. And I think it's because of that frog in my throat kind of, I, I, like I felt like I was singing with a frog in my throat. The guy stops me, he says, when it gets to the solo, he's like, okay. He like stops me right there, he says, okay. Is the rest of the song, like, is that pretty much it? Is like, that pretty much the song I said? Yeah, there's like a whole other verse that gets a little higher than that. And he's like, did you have a backup song prepared by any chance? Or like, did you have a backup song? I said, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I he said, I, I had a backup song, but I didn't, I didn't bring it with me. He says, no, I don't want you to sing it. Did you have a backup song? What was your backup song? I said, um, Unchained Melody from Ghost. And everybody was like, <gasps> And they said, you just been gay gassed. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I was, I was like, oh, okay. So anyways, he says, thank you very much. And then I walk out of the room and I didn't know what to take. I'm like, God, I was bad. I mean, like he stopped me. Everybody else who went in front of me was so amazing. Like, I was like, oh my God, I'm competing with like freaking the Olympics. What do I do? 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 And I didn't know what to do. There was like people that were dancing and moving. And I had like this little routine, but I couldn't even move. It was just, ah, <sighs> oh, I wanted to cry. And I, and I didn't want to beat myself up. So I said, well, you got to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And I did let it go for like about two hours. But I couldn't speak. I don't want to talk about it. So I told my mom, I'm like, ah, I didn't get it. I just went and I said, I didn't get it. And she's like, why didn't you get it? And I said, um, because I, 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 I didn't get it. <laughs> I said, I did bad. I really did bad. I did very, very bad. And um, she's like, I know you did good. Calm down. I'm like, you weren't there. But I didn't tell her that. And then so I just kind of like stood to myself. I'm like, I just did bad. I go to bed, I couldn't even sleep. I was just crying my eyeballs out and I was just in such a bad mood the rest of that night. And then uh, I was really beating myself up. Oh my God, I was annoying everybody. Oh my God, I was so annoying to myself. And eventually I like told myself, look, I'm over it, I'm over it. I, I, have, to, I have to let this go, it's gonna kill me. I said, just let it go, which I did. And I, and I just accepted it, like I said, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it and that's fine. And I said, that's fine. 
The point is, I tried, which I did. I got my music, my sheet music, and I just started practicing that, and I was good. I practiced, and I was I was practicing that, and I was fine. Next thing you know, I get an email on Friday, and my name's on the list, but it says William Sosa's Quartet. I'm like, Quartet? Unchained Melody? Wait, what? I'm like, he didn't even ask me to sing Unchained Melody. So why am I on this list? This doesn't make sense. Why am I on this list? Why am I on this list? This makes no sense. Everybody else seems to be so much better than me. Why was I on this list? Anyways, apparently, he says, so I talked to him yesterday, and he comes up to me, and he says, yeah, you're going to be doing a quartet says the reason why you're going to be doing a quartet instead of a solo is because usually with, with new people I don't like to put them as a solo and he says I prefer them you know to like you know I guess get comfortable for the first performance and then when I realize that they can handle it I guess then he does solos I don't know I don't know if that's the truth or not hopefully I think it is but um <laughs> oh this sucks so I felt, so now I'm scared because I was thinking the whole week I wasn't going to get anything. And then all of a sudden I'm stuck, I'm stuck with a quartet, which is not bad. Like, I'm not angry at the fact that that actually I prefer to be in a quartet, which I'm very glad that he put me in a quartet. Because one, that means I got in, but at the same time, like, it's a quartet and this is going to be a, a company music and I have very little time to prepare and on top of that I only see them once a week I don't even know who I was working with because they didn't say all their names so I couldn't email them and I was afraid I didn't know what to do I didn't know what to do so I'm like oh my god what is the sheet music what am I gonna do and apparently I'm like the main singer in this and everybody else is just like either back up or they sing with me or something I am terrified. So my choir director is going to send me the sheet music, is going to send me, I guess, the people's names I'm going to be working with, is going to send me the sheet music. And on top of that, I got to learn choreography, not for Unchained Melody, but choreography for the choir. So I got to go, like, really? That's what I got to do? Hashtag, I am scared. But you know what? I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be okay. You know, this always happens before performances. You're, it's okay to be nervous. Everybody is, you know. But, ah, uh, it's just so hard. So I definitely need to see a therapist. I definitely need to see a therapist. Because the, the nerves that I get, excuse me, by the way, the nerves that I get, are on a whole other spectrum of nerves that a person should get. I feel like I'm going to die kind of thing. I feel I overthink it. I think all these scenarios of how bad I'm going to do, like instead of actually killing the performance, I kill the audience. Like it's not like, and not in a good way. Not like, oh, I'll slay. No, it's more like, avada kadava. And then, dead. You know, I, I, I don't know what's going on here, but <sighs> así es la vida, shall we say. Anyways, guys, <sighs> the stress is starting. It's starting. And I know I'm wearing the same shirts because I did the same video. I did two videos in the same day. Okay. No, I'm not a pig. I'm not wearing the same clothes twice. No. Um... But yes, I am nervous beyond belief. I feel like I will be better. I'm going to be better. I want to make this year freaking grandeur. And on many years before, after that, I wasted my 20s being scared. It's time to face my fears in my 30s. Okay? Right through there. Okay? Anyways, thank you guys so much for putting up with this video. I hope you got some sort of entertainment out of it and I will talk to you guys whenever. Alright? <laughs>